Hi everybody, welcome back with another video by Quidget and uh, this is the second part of uh, this playlist and uh, last part what we what, what, what we had done like uh, I had explained you like how you can actually make a simple OpenAI API call using OpenAI package here you can see uh, the result of it uh, there was one problem which I forgot to mention is like uh, we had a spelling mistake in uh, case of temperature so if you're facing something like that just uh, fix it here and i will also mention in the last video as well so don't worry about it and uh in this video what we are going to do like we are going to see the additional thing which is uh defining a response type uh, there is a there is a thing called uh type that you can define uh, you have to basically uh do it in this way like a type and you can define in which uh in which format you basically want your answer um, back from a back from an open ai okay and i'll uh, tell you like uh, why this one is important and why you should even use it okay so what happens uh, in most of the cases uh, uh, like you will you will not be integrating open ai just like this you know like uh, you are accepting a query and or answering that that will be very very basic thing you know like all charge is already doing that and no one needs it uh, in most of the cases okay in most of the cases you will not be doing that basically what you will be doing uh, you will take a query from an user okay it can be anything you will take a query from a user you will process that query and process that query through a prompt uh, you will write that prompt by yourself i'll show you in a minute like how you can do that it's very easy by the way uh, so you will take that user query you will append it with your prompt or whatever the prompt you will have written and uh, then you will process that prompt instead okay instead of like uh, here uh, like we are keeping the track of you know the normal question and answer this is not how are you going to this is not how we how you are going to integrate uh, open ai in the system in most of the cases maybe if you are building a simple chatbot then that's a fine as well but if you are actually integrating it uh, in a system to make it smart then you will be using a prompt as well so here, uh, we, what we are going to do, what we are going to do is, uh, we will take this user query and we'll try to extract uh, two different fields. So, assume uh, I want to build, for example, let me open up my scally draw. Just let me clear this up. So let's say uh, we have a form. Let's say we have a database. Okay, even forget this one. We have a database where we are storing the list of tasks created by a uh, particular user uh, here uh, inside our uh, database each collection basically each record will contain two different things for simplicity for simplicity we are keeping just two different things right now uh, the first one would be name username okay so like a, a user who created this task and the second one would be uh definition of task itself okay uh, task description okay now if you want to uh, create a new record then uh, the thing that you need is uh, the username and the task description it by itself uh, the way to do this uh, in a typically uh, when you might have seen this already that uh, you will have provided two different fields to user the first one is defining you know uh, the task description and the second one is a uh, username of course like uh, this is in most of the cases you will uh, retrieve this from uh, re retrieve this retrieve this from the uh, user's authentication object authenticated if the user is authenticated then you might have already an object where that contains uh, user information but for simply uh, let's just keep it you know like a user can enter the username right now i'm just because i'm going to give you an idea like how you can actually use this thing that's why and the finally we will have a button called submit okay let's just change its color we will have a button called submit so some whenever a user clicks this button the submit button what we will do we will extract the username from it and uh, we will extract the description from this field and we will 
create a new record on the basis of that in a database okay so this is one of the way where you are actually specifying the fields in a form and you are extracting data out of that but here uh, as you as we are using an open ai what we will do we will simply take a user query and it can be and because because of that user can write a query however he feel like however he would feel like for example here we will only have one uh, field which will define where user can enter a query for example uh, i can say i want to add a task called view.js called learn view.js uh, under username named uh for example here we can say of course okay and uh, this is a piece of uh, here you can say it is a plain english and you can uh, user can enter this english however he would like the thing to notice here is uh, we will take this query we will extract the required field uh, like uh, learn view.js which will be considered as a task description and the another one is a code chat which will be considered as a username and uh, we will leave it uh, to open ai to decide uh, which one is which uh, so the response in which uh, so the kind of response that we want to get uh, from an open ai that we would like to get from an open ai will be uh, something like this where uh, we will have a json object inside this uh we will get a username uh it could be whatever the username is and if and the finally uh it will provide us a description as well task description okay we are leaving this up to uh open as well okay so in the in the turn we want to get uh, this station back from an open ai so basically what you will do uh, you will simply take this uh, user query from a user you will send uh, this to your prompt the prompt that you will write right now i will show you how you can do that and uh, after that we will send that prompt instead to an open ai and then open ai will return us a response now let's write a prompt that i was uh, talking about so we have a user query uh, what we want uh, i want to define a prompt and this prompt will basically here we will define um extract extract uh, required information from given a uh, query and then we will simply provide the user query okay uh, it is also suggesting this and this is the and one more thing uh, when you are defining like a json object uh, as a type then you have to define the structure of a json in which uh, you are expecting your uh, response to be so i will define so extract the required information from given query in n defined json format okay and here i will simply define json format json response okay here uh the first parameter that we need is the username of course whatever the username is and let's also mention if the not if not provided if not provided then use unknown unknown okay if not provided then use unknown okay and the second one is like the task description task description task description whatever task info okay and this is our actual prompt that we will be sending uh back to uh, open ai and if here if i show you what response we will get let me show you that uh, quickly and let me just remove all of that all of it you know or like these basically and here in this case i don't think we need a temperature so let me just remove this as well and here inside a content uh, that i already said uh, that this is the place where you will be entering your prompt 
at very first because here we don't have a history so that's why it's, you don't have to keep you, you don't have to be worried you don't have to be worried about that and now if i simply enter the prompt here and if i run then you will see node in dot js okay so there is an error a new bad request okay so there was a small error uh, because of that we were facing this issue uh, but uh, the thing is like uh, you have to wrap this inside a there is another property which is called a response format and inside this you will basically define the type of it okay so just make sure you do that and after that it will start working it will start working okay so uh, we have done two things so we have basically defined a response format but which is which type inside this we have defined a type like which is a json object and then we can use our function okay and make sure to add a query as well uh, i have just added a query a new query uh, which says like i want to add a task called uh, learn vue.js with username pkcon okay now so now if i run this code mm, wait a minute node index dot js and then you will see it has returned a uh, json format and it it might not look like a json right now because it's uh, it is in a string format so let's just first con first of all let's convert it into a json using a json dot parse okay so this is a thing called json dot parse so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get a actual result you store it in actual result okay i know it doesn't make any sense this variable doesn't make any sense but yeah so this is our actual result and we will what we will do we will simply parse this using a json dot parse which is a json dot parse and now you will see that uh now you will see basically proper valid JSON that it has returned. So now if I type node index.js index.js you can see uh, it has returned a username with the piggy current and task description with learn view.js so now you can uh, imagine you can use this JSON object as a reference and you can uh, send it to your database or it can process and uh, retrieve whatever information it requires okay and one thing that you will notice uh, i assume although I, I haven't tried it yet but yeah so, uh, i haven't tried it uh, that uh, if i don't provide a picky okay if i let's uh, say if i just say uh, i want to add a i want to add a task called turn vue.js okay here we haven't provided a any kind of a username in that case i think it should uh, mention username as a unknown as you can see like if not provided then use unknown we have defined that here so if i type node index.js as you can see like username is unknown and the task description is a learn vue.js and you can play with the prompt and uh, the more you play with it and the more creative idea you will get it out of it okay this is how you can use a json format and it is very very useful in most of the cases uh, it's gonna help you okay so i will see you in the next video with uh, some other kind of content uh, for then goodbye don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel